Hey gang, Shark Schlock Week Spring Break Edition keeps getting a little chillier outside. With a review of the movie Ice Sharks from the Asylum. So, seven people are on some sort of a uh, ice station, I guess, in the Arctic. Their names are David, Tracy, Alex, Michael, Sammy, Val, and Eddie. And when some guy is out on the ice, apparently looking for someone else, well, his sled dogs... Yeah. Well, the sled dogs aren't going to be having to be fed for quite some time if you get my drift. And of course, he won't have to be fed for a while either because, well, you can't really tell, but a shark gets him. So, so of course, um, <laughs> so they notice on their laptops and everything like that that there's something strange going on in the water and they realize that it's sharks from Greenland or as they like to call them greenies yeah so as the sharks keep swimming under the water they eventually cause the the uh, the the station to go underwater and a rescue mission is is tried to be it tries to happen as you can see right there that helicopter right there tries to help him out once doesn't do a whole lot of good because the weight of the station is too much for him plus of course sharks swimming around and kind of cause that to happen so the helicopter crashes and the, and the station goes back underneath the water eventually a huge tanker boat shows up pulls the pulls the uh, pulls the station out, and Tracy fights off a shark that tries to break in through a small window, but gets stuck, lands on the ship, David, her boyfriend, husband, not sure which, uh, winds up shooting a, an extinguisher on the boat, blasting the shark back into the water, Tracy calls him an idiot, David says pretty much, and the movie ends. <laughs> So, why did this movie suck? I can say, in all honesty, it's not the characters. Well, okay, the one thing I can say going about the characters is the fact that they're all very likable, which is a shock, because in a lot of Asylum movies, you don't meet a lot of very likable characters. But what's not to like about them? I think they should put this into uh, into a horror rules things you should, things you should never say in a horror movie, and that is the word, and that is four words. I got an idea, because everyone in the movie who said I got an idea, it doesn't work. That's pretty much why I said David and Tracy are the last ones left in the movie. Um, Uh, there's stock footage of a polar bear pulling on some guy, and lots of stock footage, lots of bad special effects involving the station. Um, <laughs> uh, dramatic slow-mo wiping of a table. Um, uh, Tracy tries two-way radio to uh, try to try to get a hold of some people, even though the antenna was knocked over. Uh, the guy Michael, though. If you ever check this movie out, to me he kind of looks like Chad Kroger of Nickelback and McJuggernuggets had a kid. So, yeah, it kind of looked like a combination of the two. In uh, the scene where the shark goes in to try and get Tracy, uh, she, no she, she looks out the little window and notices there's a shark swimming around with a flare in it. And she opens the window and the shark just comes right at her in the window, not in slow-mo, but in just regular sp speed motion. And there's one scene where Michael is trying to get uh, some, uh, some something done for the ship. I think trying to get uh, trying to get power back on into the place. 
and he's holding a spear and a shark comes at him and, the, and he just kind of holds it up at the shark and the shark's just like, oh, screw that, man, not a spear. And I'm going, wow, seriously? <laughs> Uh, on a hate scale out of 10, I would probably say it's maybe slightly above Jaws 2. I mean, I didn't completely hate Jaws 2, but th but this movie, the only reason I can say I didn't like it was because, you know, they say, I, I got an idea, and then it just backfires. And you know, it's like, they're the next one to go. Uh, the gore in it, not bad, it's not great, not a whole lot of it, but that's okay too, but... But uh, the backstory on the sharks, I thought to myself, yeah, it's kind of silly. Uh, but out of all of, all the movies I've watched so far this week, this is probably, probably like I said, right along with Jaws 2. Didn't think it was all that bad. But if you want to check it out, please do. And if you have checked it out, let me hear, hear from you in the comments below. But there you guys have it, a review of Ice Sharks. And if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, fantasy horror movie concerning ice, sharks, and lots of stupid decisions, send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.